2009, and in this installment, we're going to talk about uh, more Barack Obama forgeries on eBay, a couple more Derek Jeter forgeries on eBay, and of course, we're going to talk about eBay's new feedback system, which was implemented last February. We're going to talk about it tonight because now it has affected me. Uh, it's getting to the point now where there are too many dirtbag buyers and sellers on eBay, and eBay, uh, in my estimation, seems to be catering to these bad people. And uh, I think I'm going to get out of eBay once all my stuff is gone because I am really fed up with them. Uh, let's get to the Barack Obama forgeries first. Uh, this one here is item number 310-113-129-299. This is a GAI authenticated Barack Obama autograph. And unfortunately, that is not Barack Obama's autograph. I believe somebody just paid uh, 200 and something dollars, was it 219 I believe, for this Barack Obama forgery. I cannot believe that eBay still allows GAI as a pre-qualified authenticator because they get way too many things wrong. I think they're authenticating crap like this just to get a piece of the action because Barack Obama's autograph is so uh, popular and desirable. And uh, if they reject too many, they're not going to get any business. So, of course, they have to authenticate some fakes in order for that business to keep coming in. Uh, here is another Barack Obama forgery. Item number 180-318-029-584 from seller AUMUZ08. And that's a really, really bad Barack Obama forgery. Uh, I am no longer going to report fake autograph items to eBay. I am letting everything run and then what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to report all the forgeries on here because I am fed up and sick and tired of eBay catering to all the dirt bags that uh, uh, populate the auction site. Uh, let's go to this Barack Obama forgery 320 320-327-904-028 by seller babyboy37 this did not sell but he wanted four hundred and fifty dollars for it and i'm looking and noticing that a lot of barack obama forgeries are going for a lot less i think people are either catching on or the desired for it has uh, kind of lessened to a degree of course until he gets inaugurated later this month but there are still stupid people bidding on crap like this I'm hoping somebody will notify these uh, buyers and let them watch this video so they can see what jerks they made out of themselves because, uh, like I said, I no longer have sympathy for people who buy forgeries. Uh, here is item number 330-294-460-3934 by seller S-T-T-A-B-Y-O-G-I B Y O G I. This one sold for $152.50. Again, the lesser price for a uh, Barack Obama forgery, and it is an obvious forgery. And of course, what he did, I guess he sold this one and figured he could sell another one. So he sold another one for $157. This was from the same seller. Item number 330-298-101648 by that same seller. And this particular forgery sold for $157. And I'm hoping somebody will contact these buyers and let them watch these videos and show them that uh, they're not using any common sense of any kind by buying this stuff without even uh, investigating it or even comparing it to PSA or JSA, uh, Barack Obama authenticated items. Here's a couple of bad Derek Jeter forgeries. This one here is by seller Grumpy15900. Item number 3302-9834-7416. He actually gave this one a pretty good try. But it is a forgery 100%. Very bad. Here's an even worse forgery. This is, of course, this one here is actually a Playboy Authentics forgery of Derek Jeta. But this particular seller is using a different COA, I guess, to try to, uh, you know, detract uh, from the name Playboy Authentics, which, of course, is... Uh, Synonymous with forgeries. Of course, this is item number 230-317-480-814 from seller Tree Top Flyer 13. Tree Top Flyer 13. Another Derek Jeter forgery. And uh, from now on, 
no matter how many videos it takes, I am going to expose all the Derek Jeter forgeries that I see on eBay. Now let's talk about eBay's feedback system where sellers are not allowed to leave negative feedback for dirtbag buyers. Uh, recently, somebody bought one of my items. They didn't pay for it. I had to go through the process of getting my final bid fees back, uh, getting the item relisted, etc., etc. Now, after all the processing went through, of course, the dirtbag buyer left me a negative feedback. And I have been trying like heck to get it removed. And I got a letter today from eBay saying that there was no justification at all for removing the negative feedback, but that I should try to leave uh, professional feedback to let sellers and buyers know what transpired in that particular transaction. Again, another case of eBay catering to a dirt bag. Um, in my next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip off some names of past sellers who sold literally thousands upon thousands of forgeries of which uh, eBay made a ton of money off, a ton of money. And, uh, you know, one of my biggest questions has always been, um, how much of uh, ex-CEO Meg Whitman's salary was derived directly from the sales of forgeries? That would be a really, really interesting number. Uh, right now, since you're on YouTube, go to the search box and just type in eBay Space Feedback, and you'll see a lot of videos from people really getting on eBay's case about this uh, new implementation of uh, not allowing sellers to leave uh, dirtbag buyers feedback. Um, it's incredible that uh, they would allow this to happen. That means that a buyer can uh, use all kinds of eBay IDs to arrest good sellers, leave them negative feedback, and uh, not get any repercussions. They can go on to another eBay ID like a lot of bad sales though. You can catch somebody, I mean there have been a ton of sellers on eBay who have sold like over uh, 5,000 forgeries, eventually got kicked off, and then of course they came back with a different eBay ID. These guys don't get flagged, they don't know why. And the same thing goes for third big buyers. They can keep on doing this uh, for as long as they want to arrest people like me who are trying to be good. So uh, I'm going to have that in my next video. And I'm going to keep exposing Barack Obama forgeries, and I'm going to keep exposing um, uh, Derek Jeter forgeries on eBay. And uh, if anybody here does not know anything about Operation Bullpen, go to Google, type in Operation Bullpen, because if you remember, those of us who do, back in the year 2000, when uh, Operation Bullpen was concluded, it was decided, I think by uh, some judge, which absolved eBay of any responsibility for all those millions of dollars of items, fake forgeries, all kinds of crap that's sold on eBay. How many people, how many tens of thousands of buyers now own forgeries from all those people, from all those uh, forgers? As a matter of fact, tons of that stuff is still floating around all of the auction sites. So uh, uh, we're going to talk more about that when I have time in my next video. So until then, I will see you next time.